Hi guys, welcome back. So I didn't upload last week, but um, it's okay. I was working on a sound bank that I will be releasing in Vital. Um, yeah, you guys will get more information about that next week. But for now, we're going to dive in to Cubase. I'm going to show you how to take a pad and then from that pad do kind of like an op and just how to get them to work together. So let's go straight into it. So I have this pad here. Okay, so the track is in F sharp. So I'm just going to build a simple minor. Just do something simple. Let's just end this a bit short. Okay. So you bolt your pad, right? Something simple. If my sharp minor. Now we want to make kind of like an op on top of this. So in this second one, I'll have the like a pluck sound. So what I do is I duplicate this, right? So once you duplicate it, you have all the notes still there. And then what I like to do is just take these down to 16th to get the op sound, the arpeggiator sound. And you just move it. Just move them forward. Okay. Then you duplicate all the way. Take your next sound. Same thing. Move it forward. Kill that one. Duplicate. And you repeat the cycle. So I'm just putting it back onto its notes. And we can duplicate this cycle. Then we should have something like this. Now with our, so I'll do that with the pad. So now they'll kind of be together. So yeah, so the basics is you create your pad in whatever scale you want. This is just the basic minor scale of F sharp. And then you create your pad, you duplicate it, and you create 16 notes from your pad. And then you have something that works together. And you can create any pattern you want in your pad. I just chose the, the most basic one for this. And yeah. Also, what I forgot to mention is that it will be it will sound much better if you take your pluck, your op, and you raise it by one or two octaves. Let's go one octave. Yeah, that sounds much better. Thanks for watching guys, this is a super quick one, stay tuned for more.